Hello, everybody, and thank you for taking the time out of your day to view this training video, Customizing Your Case Catalyst. My name is Todd Schlutt. I am the representative for Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, and Western Ohio. This video will cover uh, customizing the look of your Manage Job screen and the Edit screen. This will involve customizing icons, toolbars, and window panes. What I'm going to do is go live to Case Catalyst. I feel that's the best way to show this. And let's first identify what toolbars are. And that's up in this area here. So each of these are a toolbar. And the toolbars are kind of categorized, and that's why they're individuals. Um, you can see if I move my cursor over the, I call it the separating bar, it's the dotted line, and my cursor changes to that four-point arrow, I can move these around and fit them onto the screen accordingly. If I want them all lined up so I have all the real estate I can get, I can put them like that. And it's, a, it's that simple. So toolbars, you can add icons to. You can take icons off. Um, so what we're going to do here is first identify what we have up as a toolbar. So when I right click in this blank area, anything that has a check mark relates to one of those toolbars. So if you look over in this area where these folders are, when I uncheck Open Special, it goes away. So if one of your toolbars disappears, right click, see what doesn't have the check mark, put the check mark, and it will come back. Let's customize our toolbars now. Um, I don't, uh, some of you might have these small icons and you have great eyesight, and that's great, but not me. I need. A little bigger. So I right click again and then I clicked on customize. Right click, go down to customize, and then I go to options. From options, now I can click to make my icons big and small, depending on which ones. The other thing I can do is if I want to show text under the function bar, and this is a specific function bar, which is this one here. That's the main function of the case catalyst. So you can see now they have uh, text underneath. It takes up a little more real estate, but it's an easy way to see what's going on. And then I might end up making a move on the other toolbar so that I not taking up more real estate than I need. If I don't want the uh, text, then I just uncheck it. Another cool thing is, let's say I don't have the text on there. If I have show screen tips on the toolbar, I can just hover over one of the icons and it tells me what it's going to do. I like having the text underneath because then it makes these icons a little bit bigger. Now let's go to adding and taking off and changing the picture on the icons. So I went over to the commands tab and now I have the ability to take, take off an icon or add an icon. So over here, and some of you might already have this, an icon for BCS, Broadcast Captioning Suite. Well, if you don't have that as part of your case catalyst, you really don't need that icon. I believe it comes on as a default. So all you have to do is left click and hold and you drag and then you release anywhere here and it will disappear. Boom. Now it hasn't gotten rid of the broadcast captioning suite software. It just got rid of the command function, uh, the command icon. That's all. Now if I want to add one on, I'm in this command, I mean this customized box, and I just find the command I want to add and drag it up to where I want it. So in this case, I'm going to add 
export dictionary to writer. Okay, if I know the category it's under, I can just click on that category and it only brings up those commands underneath that category. But if I don't know the category where it falls under, I'm going to click all commands. Since it is listed alphabetically and I'm doing export dictionary to writer, there we go. Oh, sorry, right here. And I left click, hold, drag, and then put it where I want. See where that black bar is? It'll insert it wherever that is. I'm going to drop it right here. Now, if I want to change um, the picture on that, let's say it makes me smile whenever I export my dictionary onto the writer because it happens so quick and now I'm pretty savvy. I'm going to right click. Okay, I still got that customized box open, but I right click on the icon and I click on change button image. And I can pick any one of these. So it makes me smile. I'm going to put a smiley face on there. So we can have fun. I know the dictionary is the heart of my software. I'll make it a little heart. And that's it. If you want to change it back, right click and then do reset button image. And it goes back to where it was. Okay, again, it, that customized box has to be open to, to be able to do that. Okay, I'm going to close this. Um, I'm going to open up a transcript as far as editing. And I do want you to notice that the toolbars here, my manage jobs, is not they're not going to be the same as what I do for editing because they're they're different. Now here again is that broadcast captioning. Uh, we already know how to get rid of it. Right click, customize, drag and drop it. Gone. Close the box. But in this screen, what I want to talk about are the are the panes, the window panes, uh, things like um, brief it, hotspots, uh, vertical notes. So any one of those that I want to use, I go to View, come down to Panes, and let's open up Vertical Notes. Now I can also hit Control N, and this opens up that window pane. With the pin down, it stays. If I click it to the side, then it becomes a tab. It auto hides when I change the focus of my cursor. Pin down, it stays out. Pin to the side, it hides to the tab. I'm going to open up another one. I go to Windows, I go to Panes, and these will remain here once you have them out. Let's open up um, the Brief It window. Okay, so now I got these two windows side by side. Well, maybe I don't want them side by side. I want to move this one. So I'm going to left click, hold, drag, and touch my cursor to one of those blue directionals, and then we'll put it accordingly. Left click, hold, and that, again, uh, that's on the title bar, and it'll go where, it's, where I want it to go. This is the title bar, where the title of the uh, command is. Now, I do have the ability to stack them within one space. So here's my vertical notes. I left click, hold. When I go into the vertical note space, see the, uh, the four point directional? If I touch my cursor to the bottom one, it'll stack. So I'm taking up less real estate and I have them stacked. If I don't want that, left curse, left curse, um, left mouse button drag, come to the outside and put it. Oh, to the outside. Now I'm glad this happened because what happened was I didn't quite touch that blue directional with my cursor and so it floats. So if you ever see something just floating out there, double click on that title bar, click, click, and it goes back to where it was. So I'm going to drag it out, make, make contact, and it'll stay out there. And then I can hide it when I want to hide it. That's how we handle our panes. We're going to go to the Manage Job screen. I just want to do one thing, show you the integrated video training. Click on Help. Click on Integrated Video Training. You have a window pane over here. 
productivity boosters. These are the advanced features. They're broken into categories. Click on it. Double click on one, opens up the video screen. Uh, you can pause, you can advance, you can size. And when you're done with it and close it, you see it turns to a, a gold star. If you want to reset the gold star, right click on it and clear. Um, mark as not visited. It's a great way to keep track of things, great way to learn a little more about your software. I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for what you do as a court reporter, captioner, cart. It's an amazing skill set, and we greatly appreciate it. Thanks again, and enjoy the rest of your day.